Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're taking a look at our newest car here. It's a Losi Micro T Desert Truck, or Micro S E T E. And uh, this was actually a donation from our good friend John. This is a very small, it's a, it's a, one twenty fourth scale four wheel drive brushless short course truck uh, that is uh, just an absolute hoot to drive inside. Uh, we've kept it indoors so far, but just an absolute blast to drive inside the house. Um, now, we also have a Losi uh, Micro T high roller or micro high roller, uh, so it's it's based on the same. Uh, parts is the micro T, but uh, it's actually a 136 monster truck um, that only has rear wheel drive, so it's only two wheel drive, and that that car is a little bit uh, difficult to to drive on a smooth surface like uh, our flooring here, our our, our wood flooring. Um, the four wheel drive copes a lot better; it, it actually drifts a lot. Um, these tires uh, are a little bit worn, uh, but um, you know, definitely a hoot to drive inside and. If you drive it on on rug or carpet, uh, there's there's actually a, a good amount of traction. Now we have both the standard uh, Lucy nickel metal hydride mini pack here, as well as an upgraded Lucy Acceleron or Accelerin uh, lipo here. And um, these have actually been this is almost too much power. Right uh, when you're when you're playing indoors here, um, this is about perfect. Uh, with uh, the lipo, you can actually um, it's it's a huge difference in power output that the the, the tiny brushless motor in this thing is able to um, provide uh, given this lipo versus a nickel metal hydride. Uh, so you know, would definitely recommend just sticking with the nickel nickel metal hydrides um, for indoor use on, on a smooth surface here and. Uh, especially for beginners, but uh, definitely um, the 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 lipo battery in this is a hoot. So uh, there are also alter alternative sources for this this uh, size battery. Um, I, I've I've looked into it briefly. Uh, you know, some of the folks on the forums and whatnot have have used other other uh, brands of, of battery packs successfully in this uh, in this truck. Um, so uh, this so far, these two batteries have been more than. Uh, sufficient for our usage indoors, uh, but uh, if we are looking for uh, additional battery packs, I'll probably look into some of those alternative manufacturers. But um, this this car is a blast. You actually don't have to remove the body. These these little pins are actually pretty hard to remove. Um, the battery is actually located down underneath the chassis, and uh, this door, this little plastic door, just snaps into place. It's not the best uh, way of securing the the battery. Uh, you know, getting this door off actually usually you have to just use your nail and press down and pull out there. Uh, but um, you know, definitely, definitely, I can't complain in terms of the the rest of truck the truck. It's it's a hoot. It, it comes with a 2.4 gigahertz radio, uh, and uh, yeah, again, um, you know, smaller scale vehicles like this they use a lot of specialty parts like the servo the speed control and the radio are integrated into one so a little bit harder to work on but um, can't really complain uh, because this was a gift and donation from our good friend John thanks again John uh, and uh, you know we've been having a blast with this so far and we'll, we'll keep you guys posted in terms of um, anything that breaks or any improvements that we decide to do but out of the box talk it's uh, it's just a blast, and um, you know we'll, we'll definitely keep driving this on on rainy days or whatnot, or uh, you know during the night when we we uh, don't have light outside to race by. So thanks again to John, and thanks again to you, all of you for watching. Uh, please follow us and subscribe to us on YouTube and Facebook, and we'll see you next time.